Tonight at 5, a 34-year-old cold case coming to a conclusion today. Someone killed Shauna Garber in McDonald County back in 1990. For years, she remained unidentified and her killer roamed free. Suspects in the case range from serial killers, Larry Hall and Dennis Rader, the guy known as BTK. But now McDonald County detectives say they've identified Shauna's killer. Michael Hoffman is in McDonald County tonight. Michael, what can you tell us about this big break? Well, Paul, investigators are calling this case cleared by exception, the exception being the man they believe to have killed her, Tolfi Reeves, is dead. Now, today I spoke with investigators along with Shauna's sister, and they tell me although it's been a long 30-plus year experience, they're happy to finally have some answers. I like to say that we had to sit down with evil to find Grace. Grace Doe. That's all Shauna Garber was known as for decades as investigators worked tirelessly to first identify her. Advances in technology helped investigators identify her as Shauna Garber in 2021. Suspects in her death included serial killers like Larry Hall and BTK killer Dennis Rader. But according to lead investigators Lori Howard and Rhonda Wise, the case was so gruesome that when he was interviewed, even BTK was shocked. I put everything I had of Shauna in front of him. And I will tell you, there was a complete and utter lack of look of disgust. He even said, this is terrible. This is overkill. Who would do this? This is sloppy. It's not my work. And it wasn't his work, and I knew it immediately. Detectives say at the end, it was this man, Tolfi Reeves, who investigators say picked up Garber, tied her up, then raped and killed her at an abandoned McDonald County farmhouse. Reeves was already on the radar for the case, and today he would be charged with murder if he hadn't died in a car crash three years ago. And I said, before you die, I want to be your last phone call because I want to know what happened to her. And he laughed and he smiled. And that was pretty much the extent of what I got from him verbally. But Shauna was separated from her brother and sister when they were put into the foster system. Her sister, Danielle, was at today's news conference and says that after all this time, it's relieving to finally have some answers. Never stop looking for your loved ones. There's always somebody going to be right there beside you, your angels to help you, you know, find your loved ones. Never give up. I, I tell everybody that on Facebook because I know a lot of people like in Topeka, they, they're, they're giving up. I was like, don't give up. Now, detectives say that just this morning they were able to get a subpoena for the Kansas Department of Children and Families to get some more information on Shauna's adoption process and to then, in turn, get some more answers for her family. For KY3 News, I'm Michael Hoffman. Paul, back to you.